All right, guys, well, I'm back today with probably one of the coolest yet most practical karambit fixed blade knives I've ever reviewed on the channel. This is actually the Kanku C1692 fixed blade knife with a full tang. This one is pretty slick because it features premium materials like some of the other fixed blade knives I review, but in a functional karambit fixed blade form that's not overly large. It's actually very nimble, ergonomic, and tough. Now the materials used in this one are some more premium materials over some just basic materials you generally find on Amazon karambits or fixed blade knives in general. This actually is a D2 steel blade and again it's a full tang. You can see that ultra thick tang through the entire knife itself and it ends with this hole right here allowing you to insert one of your fingers to hold it more um, sturdily and to get a better grip on the knife itself. It also has machine G10 handles, and you can see the attention to detail in all of the cuts on the G10 itself, making it very ergonomic and making it incredibly easy to get a good hold on this knife for a wide variety of tasks. Now, something like this would attach to a battle belt very nicely via the Kydex sheath included in the box. This is one of the newer Kydex sheath that a lot of companies are using. And Kanku actually sent both of these knives out to the channel after seeing some other videos. Um, I purchased actually a lot of different knives from Amazon. A lot of these companies saw me purchase those knives or make videos on them and asked to send me some. And this is one of the ones I requested. So it comes with a custom Kydex sheath. And what makes this incredibly practical is it doesn't get caught in the Kydex sheath like some other karambits I've seen in the past. It really does come out nicely and inserts back in smoothly, locks in the place so there's no chance of it falling out. It's got a ton of lashing points on the sheath itself. And then the clip, you actually press this in and unlocks it and you can adjust it to whatever belt size you have. These go in and out, and then you can rotate this horizontally or vertically to attach it to a battle belt, a plate carrier, just a regular EDC belt. This is pretty cool. It also comes in two different colors and the best price of the entire, or the best part of the whole thing is the price. Something like this with D2 steel, G10 handles, and a Kydex sheath, a lot of those items are selling for 70, 80, well over $100 in some cases. But this one is selling for $32.58, the silver version, and the blacked out version is selling for $33.06 with free prime shipping on Amazon. It also is pretty cool because they've taken it a step up a notch and just making it really awesome looking with almost like an eye to a beak design. Uh, this is actually inlay of carbon fiber. And both of them have it, it's just a little bit more pronounced on the silver version. If I was picking one up, I kinda like the silver version just a touch better because you can see that carbon fiber, but the blacked out version is very cool as well. Both of them have sort of a stone wash finish. And again, both are incredibly ergonomic and easy to use. And you can see a little bit more pronounced that full tang going through this knife. So. Something like this I don't think is going to last long. A lot of times when I review some of these knives or some people start picking them up on Amazon and posting reviews, the more reviews, uh, the faster they go because I've never seen anybody pick up some of these and be like completely disappointed. Everybody I've talked to in the comment section, and please leave your comments in the comment section below. Have you picked up some of these knives I'm review reviewing lately? And let me know your thoughts. I'm a huge fan of this one. Again, probably one of the most uh, easy to hold it's not overly large, yet still large enough to be functional and easiest to get in and out of the sheath, making it one of the most practical fixed blade karambits I've seen. Definitely one of the toughest with that thick blade and overall just very sturdy handle. This thing's awesome. All the information and linking will be in the description below. Thanks for watching, guys. Have a good one.